These are 10 new leaked cars in Forza Horizon 5 we could expect to be coming to the game in the near future, whether it's in the next update, it could be a few updates down the line or even in a potential new car DLC pack like we've recently seen over the past couple updates. Now periodically we see new cars added to the game files or even leaked through Torben's Tuesday deliberate showcases by the developers and occasionally we even see potential influence to where we can see cars and what cars come into the game through the forums or by developers. There are many different routes we can find this sort of information but it's always good to periodically compile this info and discuss what cars we can expect to be coming to Forza. So like I said guys, I've said this in a few videos before, there have been many cars leaked to Horizon 5 over the time span so far. Now out of that, quite a few have already been released in the game, not necessarily all cars have been from that group and they never really will. There'll always be a group of cars added to the game through leaks that might not actually make it to the final cut, that's simply how it goes. Whether it's due to licensing or Forza simply don't find a position where it can be added, there's many potential reasons why. But don't always expect every lead card to come to game, but it certainly gives a good indication as to what it's looking like for future updates down the line. But the first car we have is going to be the 2022 Mercedes G63 AMG, essentially a new G Wagon, as a lot of people know, have been popularized as. This is a pretty cool car. We already do have a G63 in the game, but it's a lot older of a model. I believe it's a 2014. So seeing the new 2022 would be fairly cool to see in the game, especially considering how popular this car is in real life. It's pretty much as popular as the Lamborghini Urus, if not more, and we've seen how well appreciated that it's been in the game as of so far so this would probably be a pretty good addition not too often do we see these luxury slash sport cars added to the game given the fact that for some brands like rolls royce it's not the best fit for forza or at least some people seem to think so but despite that we do occasionally see those cars added to the game and this is a good example of that now talking about rolls royce the next car on this list is actually the rolls royce cullinan which many people want to be added to the forums we've even seen rolls royces in the game files yet we haven't even seen any rolls royce cars in the game since horizon 3 Many people have discussed as just being due to licensing where Rolls Royce don't see it being a great fit for their cars to be added to Fours where it could be largely customized. But either way, in Rolls Royce's real life demographic, for example, you look at the Rolls Royce car scene in LA or New York, which is a pretty significant portion of their demographic, or at least to some degree, they're pretty customized anyway. It is a reality these cars are customized. There are various Mansory body kits added to these cars in Dubai as well, for example. So for these cars to be customized in Forza, I don't think would be hugely problematic. So it could be possible to see these cars being added. We hadn't seen any Rolls Royces since Horizon 3, but since then, quite a few new Rolls Royces have been added to their lineup and would definitely spice it up a fair bit to have the Rolls Royce Cullinan, which is arguably one of the most popular in the lineup as of now, especially with the younger sort of demographic, which would be playing Forza. Now, the next car on this list is going to be the McLaren Artura. We've seen McLaren and Forza have a pretty close relationship ever since Horizon 4. For example, the Senna being the cover car, as well as many other McLaren cars being showcased in Forza before even being able to be purchased in real life, such as the Speed Tail, and there are even a few others added in Horizon 4 and Horizon 5. That would be pretty good other examples of this. Now, the Artura is one of the newer cars in McLaren lineup. A pretty cool car, sort of similar to the 720-765LT and the GT, but a little bit different in a few ways. So it would be cool to see this car out of the game. Of course, we'll definitely hype it up a bit from some of the more regular cars we've seen added in the Series 23 update, and I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree. Now, regardless of what cars do come in the update, all of them will be available in the Forza Horizon 5 modded accounts from MitchCactus.com. You guys can see I've got a billion Super Bowl spins. I've got every single car in the game, extremely high level and more, and you guys can too. We offer these through pre-made modded accounts. We can mod in a currently existing account of yours. We offer credit packs, rare car packs, and more. Well over 8,000 Trustpilot reviews and official Trustpilot page. We even offer GTA 5, Call of Duty, and Diablo 4 boosting services. So go in and check those out if you guys are interested. But now onto the next car, we actually have the Bugatti Chiron Supersport, the same car, the long tail version of the normal Chiron that actually broke the 300 miles per hour barrier and the overall top speed world record. A pretty insane car. It would be very cool to see this in Forza Horizon 5 and especially have some competition for the Koenigsegg Jesko or Jesko, which has been the quickest car since Horizon 5's initial release. Some people seem to think they might even save this car for Horizon 6 to be the fastest car in the game. Personally, I don't think Horizon 6 will be coming out for at least another year or if not two years. So for that, that'd be quite a decent period of time down the line and by then the car will only continue to get older and older and it could even be replaced in that top speed world record so the Chiron having that pure sport or having that super sport in the game right now would probably be very optimal and I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree let me know your thoughts down below but next up we also have the Lamborghini Urus Performante a very cool car again we've seen quite a few Lamborghinis added to the game recently we of course saw the SVJ quite a while ago we've seen the Hurricane Evo and Forza and more importantly we've seen the STO added to the game recently which shows quite a few of their newer lineup cars are being added and of course the Eurus Performante would be a pretty crazy one to see given that I already touched on how famous the Eurus is in Forza it definitely makes sense for this to be added to the lineup as well 
Now the next car on this list will of course be the Lotus Amira, one of the Lotus's newer cars. Of course, we've all seen the, the uh, electric Lotus, which is actually one of the quickest cars in Horizon 5 at one stage. The Amira would also be a pretty cool addition. We don't often see new Lotus cars in these racing games, so it'll be fairly unique, a little bit different from the nor more streamlined supercars or sports cars we usually see like Audi, BMW, Ferrari, McLaren. Seeing this Lotus would be a pretty cool addition and let me know what you guys think down below. But next up, we have the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS, an insane car. Of course, we've seen the Porsche 911 GT3. We've seen ones like the Cayman or the Carrera 911, sorry. Seeing something like this with the Cayman GT4 RS would be pretty crazy. And hopefully even down the line, we can see the GT3 RS 992 be added on top of this to pretty much complete an entire sequel of all those Porsche hypercars. Now next up we have the Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus 003, a pretty cool car, more of a racing oriented car than what we typically see from a more everyday or street car in Horizon 5. One that's very cool nonetheless and definitely quite a unique one, similar to one to the Lotus and Mirai previously covered in this list. Next up from there, we have the Gordon Murray Automotive T50, another very cool car, a little bit of an older one, but one that's quite unique nonetheless. And the final car I'll be covering throughout the course of this video will actually be the Mercedes AMG A45S. Maybe this will also be at the same time as that GC3 out of the top. Two brand new AMGs would be pretty cool to see, because like I said, we don't often see these new Mercedes cars added, and the AMG A45S would definitely be a pretty cool way to start that off, as well as even with the new G-Wagon. Comment down below what you guys thoughts on these cars are, and what other cars you want to see come out of the game and let me know your thoughts and of course check out those modded accounts in credit packs and more at mitchcatus.com there will be a link in the pinned comment description but that's gonna wrap up like i said thank you all so much for watching